All right, hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm giving all praise and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, uh, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors on to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone that do rule, accept you well. And also, uh, Shalom citations, mercy and blessings to you, sincere brothers that's out there that push this word with truth and with faith as well. Um, my name is Tabua Amath of uh, Great Millstone Northwest. Uh, I got a lesson that I've prepared. Um, I, well, I don't know exactly what I'm going to title it, but I do know I want the topic to be about uh, pride and arrogance. All right. Because um, I think pride, pride, the pride demon, in, which brings about arrogance. Um, it's it's a constant demon that we got to fight against, man. You know, that the word pride and the word arrogant is uh, pretty synonymous with each other. And um, it's something that we're constantly, constantly having to fight against, man. Uh, to ensure that it hasn't grabbed hold to us, but also something that we got to battle against when uh, interacting with these people, especially here in uh, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. Uh, America. In, in the scriptures, is commonly referred to as uh, Babylon the Great or the Virgin Daughter of Babylon. This place is the, the pinnacle of, uh, of of pride throughout this, this you know, uh, throughout the whole earth. This place is uh, is the, the height of, of that um, proud spirit, man. You know, they 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 pride themselves on the arrogance that they have, you know. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, grab some scriptures that's going to, you know, condemn that that proud demon that's going around. All right. Um, and we want to try to ensure, you know, uh, to the very best of our ability, we want to ensure that that demon don't get its damn claws in us. And, and you know pull us in, into the effects of it of the pride and of the uh of the arrogance this is um first scripture i'm gonna grab is proverbs chapter 8 uh verse 13 it says uh the fear of the lord is to hate evil pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do i hate okay so the fear of the lord is to hate evil it tells you that wisdom uh, the fear of the Lord, wisdom, the beginning of wisdom is, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, you know, roughly paraphrasing, that's what the scriptures, uh, say, um, so if you count yourself wise, then you will be, um, uh, you know, separating yourself from the proud and arrogant, and you, you know what, we're all, we're all men, so sometimes, you know, we, we do come under the effects of such things, but you gotta, you gotta recognize that and cast it off of you quick, man. Because if you let that if you let that proud uh, demon or that arrogant demon uh, get on you, you know, it, it can cause a lot of trouble because that's that's not a pride. <laughs> hey, it says it right here that the most high hates it. All right. It says it right here that the most high hates it. So I'm going to let I'm going to let the scriptures talk. Matter of fact, let's go to another scripture that's going to bring out, you know, that point. This is Isaiah chapter uh, 13, verse 11, because the scripture is going to explain it a lot better than I can explain it. All right. Is Isaiah chapter 13. Is Isaiah uh, chapter 13, verse 11. It says, And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Okay? So the Most High is saying that He's going to cause the arrogancy and the, and the proud to cease. So those that are overtooken by that demon and that play on uh on you know play on the power of that demon they're the ones that's gonna uh they're gonna come to uh come to not okay that's what it means to cease it means to stop he's gonna remove that proud demon and that arrogant demon from off the earth man all right and the main the main way the most high is gonna accomplish that is gonna be with the destruction of babylon the great which is america all right when when these people get judged the judgment of america is gonna it's going to be a, a big eye opener for uh, the rest of the world to see that, you know, living a proud lifestyle, living an arrogant uh, lifestyle as if you, as if, you know, you're 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 the top game and that your 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 poop don't stink. That's me trying my best to be PC right there. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, living living in that lifestyle, you know, these people are going to receive exactly what they've been sowing, man. They've been uh, puffing their chest at everybody. You know, they they turn their, these people turn their nose up at everybody. And they, hey, the Most High says he's going to remove that. OK, he's going to cause that uh, to be uh, removed. All right. 
like Proverbs 8 and 13, which we read, it said that we're supposed to hate the evil. Okay? We're supposed to hate the evil. All right? And the Most High is going to remove the proud and the arrogant. Okay? All right? He will cause the arrogancy and the proud to cease. All right? He's going to cause that to cease. Matter of fact, let's go to the blue letter real quick. Let's jump to the blue letter because let's look up both of those words since they're right here in the same scripture. We'll just hit it. Um, blue letter, Isaiah 13 and 11. Isaiah 13, verse 11. Okay. Let's just go ahead and look up both of those words real quick. 441, if you look in the uh, upper right hand corner, 441, which is 144. All right. So that's, that's beautiful. Let's look up this. It says, I will cause the arrogancy. Let's look that word up first. All right, from uh, Proverbs 13 and 11, this is the Strong's H, 1347, and the word is uh, Ga'awan, Ga'awan, all right, Ga'awan, it says, uh, at the Strong's definitions down here, it says the same as the, same as the Strong H, 1346, arrogancy, okay, <laughs> Uh, excellency, uh, majesty, pomp, pride, proud, swelling. All right. Basically meaning that, you know, they're pu it's, it's being puffed up. And we know what the scriptures say about, uh, people that are, you know, people being puffed up. Okay. <laughs> all right. If you look down here in some of these scriptures where it used the same, uh, word, you see how it's using it. All right. And a lot of it is, is not, uh, uh, good. Okay. Because it says right, even right here, arrogancy is the same word, the 1347. All right. That's the same word behind. Um, uh, that's the same word behind pride. And it's the same word behind um, arrogancy. OK. When used right here in this in this verse, it says. Um, this is one of the scriptures that I planned on getting. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before uh before a fall. Meaning people being puffed up. These people, this man, these Americans are they're really uh uh believing that they can take on the Heavenly Father. And this is something that the brothers was going into. Uh I believe the brother Kasai was going it was leading it uh at camp this past week, speaking about how these people really believe that they can take on the Heavenly Father. All right, when they can't even break uh break out of the atmosphere they can't even reach the depths of the ocean and yet they they believe that they can take the heavenly father out of effect you know that's that's some arrogancy man that's some arrogancy you ever see when a chihuahua uh barks at something that's way bigger than it you know like uh say a, a chihuahua is up against a pit bull you know when pit bulls are known to be uh, aggressive animals. They're known to be, um, animals that, that dominate other dogs. You know, they're known to, they're, they're known, known to fight to the death. All right. They're known to be a, like warrior style dogs. And then you got a chihuahua, which is, is, <laughs> is a small little ankle biter, you know? Hey, the arrogancy that that chihuahua has to have to, to be really barking nonsense at a, at a pit bull, I'm talking about one of those big pit bulls, all buff and stocky and can, you know, drag a tire around like it's nothing. All right. Chains, big chains on it and whatnot. You know, big old pit bull versus a little chihuahua. You know what I'm saying? That chihuahua has to have some type of arrogancy. Hey, man, this is more like that pit bull. Better yet, a, a Barbary lion versus an ant. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's got to go even smaller than that versus like a worm versus versus something useless versus something minuscule versus a piece of dirt. All right. A tiny speck of dirt versus the, the Barbary lion is is, you know, what I'm saying that that doesn't even compare to how Esau is compared to the Heavenly Father, man. I'm sorry. I don't mean to go on a rant, <laughs> but the arrogancy of these Edomites, man. All right. The arrogancy of Esau against the Heavenly Father. It's ridiculous. All right. It's nonsensical. All right. It's nonsensical that these people really believe that they have some type of fighting chance against the Heavenly Father. But that's that pride. We're not supposed to have that pride. Us as Israelites, we're not supposed to have that. 
All right, because that goeth before destruction. This place, America, is before destruction right now, man. All right, but don't worry. It's happening. It's going to happen. All right, it's currently taking place, you know, on a, on a smaller scale. But don't worry. This whole place from sea to shining sea shall be burnt with fire, according to the scriptures, and turned into a desert, man. All right, let's read more scriptures, see how pride fares out for some, some uh, others. Actually, I do want to go back real quick and check. I know that it said that it was going to be the same word. Actually, this the proud, it has a different word for it. All right. The arrogancy, we looked up the word for arrogancy. It says of the proud. And this word is Zod. Let's look at this word. This is the strong. I'm sorry. It's like, yeah. This is the. Um, let's pull it back up. It says. Uh proud right here the word zod uh zod which is uh strong's uh h 2086 and the strong definition is arrogant pompous and proud yes arrogant uh presumptuous actually i'm sorry i said pump pompous but it's presumptuous and proud um you know presumptuous proud man all right uh, Psalms 119 to 21, thou has rebuked the proud that are cursed, which do err from thy commandments. That's speaking about you two thirds, man. All right. The two thirds are also proud. All right. Because pride, the pride is the beginning or uh, uh, when one uh, uh, departed from their maker. All right. Uh, roughly paraphrasing. OK, most High is going to deal with all that. Most High is going to deal with all the people that are proud, man. Whether you're uh, a two-third or whether you're an Edomite or whether you're a heathen, because the heathen is also proud. But guess what? Us as Israelites, like the men of the Lord, the ones that truly believe in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai, we're not supposed to have that proud spirit whatsoever. Okay? Um, this is Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. All right? Remember when I was speaking about America being turned into a desert? Being burnt with fire from sea to shining sea? All right. Uh, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud. Yeah. And all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day <laughs> and the day that cometh shall burn them up. Say if the Lord of hosts, say if the most high power, Yahweh, um, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Meaning that hey, that day is coming, man, when when that wickedness is going to cease, it's going to be burnt up. It's going to be uh, uh, what what the fire is eating. OK, that's what a stubble is. Stubble is the material that's feeding the fire, that's giving it more fuel. All right. That is able to burn and, 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 and uh, uh, feast upon. All right. Um, let me see. Let's uh, let's go back to just my Bible app here. Uh, hit a couple more scriptures and I'm going to go ahead and close it. This is uh, an example of, or actually just just a scripture in first Samuel, chapter two, uh, verse three. OK, it says. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of come out of your mouth, for the Lord is the power of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Okay? By him actions are weighed. So if you got that proud spirit on you and, and you're performing actions according to that proud and that arrogant spirit, you know, you got your chin up, you got your nose turned up to people, looking down on people and whatnot. Hey, the most high, he he sees that and he's gonna uh uh, he's going to check you for it, man. <laughs> All right. You know, your chin, if your chin's up, anybody that know anything about boxing or, or just, uh, uh, you know, fighting with your hands at all, you know that you got to protect your chin, man. You ain't supposed to have your chin just all up in the air because that makes it an easy target. If your chin's up, the most high will check it. Bang. Right. And, and guess what? And the most high got a, he got a harder punch than Tyson, man. <laughs> he makes Tyson's punch look like a, a drunk toddler's punch, you know? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Anyway, um, I crack myself up sometimes. This is uh, Galatians <laughs> chapter six. And this is a oh, this is a heavy chapter too. Uh, Galatians, the, the sixth chapter. It speaks. um It speaks a lot on it. I don't know exactly where I want to start. Uh, so I'm going to look over it a little bit. Actually, I want to I want to start right here. Uh, verse three, Galatians chapter six, verse three. I might jump around. It says, um, 
It's Galatians chapter 6, verse 3. It says, For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. And guess what? These Edomites deceive themselves all the day long. All right? These two-thirds, they deceive themselves all the day long. And these uh, uh, these uh, heathen, they deceive themselves all the, all the day long, man. All right? Let's jump down to verse 7. It says, uh, it says, be not deceived. The most high is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap. Isn't that doesn't that sound like what we just read in first Samuel chapter two, verse three, where it says that the most high is going to weigh the actions of men and let not that pride or that arrogancy be with you or uh, come out of thy mouth. All right. So this is the exact same thing, man. Pride and arrogance come from the flesh. So read Norm verse eight for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And we know that the way of the spirit is a humble path, man. All right. We know that that's common. That should be common knowledge to anybody that's uh, dabbled in these scriptures. You should know that uh, 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 being humble is the route to go rather than being proud. OK. So there you have it. Let's go to. Um, let's see. I already got Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. Uh, you know what, though? I'm going to get Proverbs chapter 16, uh, verse 5, and then I'm going to go ahead and close it out. This is Proverbs chapter 16, verse uh, 5. It says, everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord, though hand joined in hand, he shall not be unpunished. OK, so everyone that is proud at heart <laughs> is an abomination to the Lord. That doesn't matter if you're an Israelite through uh, your bloodline or not. It doesn't matter uh, who you are or what you are. If you are proud, if you got that proud spirit seeping and uh, 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 reaping inside of you, then you are an abomination to the Lord, man. And you shall not go unpunished. So, Lord willing, uh, that message was received. Lord willing, that was edifying. Um, the praise and the glory do go on to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shabbat Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors is on to the apostles and the elders that do rule exceptionally well, constantly feeding the flock, you know. Constantly putting themselves out there, constantly uh, 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 just providing nourishment to the body, you know, the water, the water, the water, the water, you know, the water, y'all, Bashim, y'all, Shai, for sending you, and the water for doing uh, the work that so many um, refuse to do. And also, uh, Shalom and salutation to you, brothers, that's sincere, that's, that's, you know, following in the footsteps of the apostles and the elders. All right, until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.